tourists yeah, that always uh, um, a point in time when people um, might look again at Haiku mm -hmm. and if, if the infrastructure also is changed and makes the next project more accessible. Um, I mean, that's still not, not an argument for doing the release because of the kind of search, but anyway. Right. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I, mean, I don't want to keep them separate, but it doesn't. Um, What's our need for release? But then we don't also, we also don't want to uh, just make a release like two months after the switch and then figure out figuring out uh, that something that doesn't scale and and people well just try it and see it's uh, slow or something and this they then they walk away so what would be slow to see or do nothing is slow about that setup. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> I mean we were working with subversion. Yeah. Yes. Actually the latest what? version of the subversion uh, Good job. They actually finally made the the single dot has been directly. Really, Speech cat is now more dangerous, but I'm still going to go with the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 One of the things about Git is it's uh, the distributedness. <coughs> you have subversion. One person, one that owns the repository. Yeah. He owns the code. He manages it. Now with Git, everyone owns the repository. Um, and what you said about it, someone's going to have to say at some point, like this point in time, this point of, of updates is going to be our release. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, I think that's for, you know, you, you know that this can all go together and then at some point you have this, this knob that people can, not, can again start up from. But who's going to be able to say, this time my repository this is our new release. No, no, I don't think, I, I think you're not really getting, because there is going to be one central repository, and everybody, all the core developers can push into that. So there's not like a Linux where Linux pulls what he, what he wants, okay. but it's, in, it's a shared responsibility. And in the previous release processes, we had a release manager, and we will branch off, and, pro and we, can, we can either decide if he's the only one who can pull in for the specific release, for the, the final fixes, or or, you know, or <laughs> that has already been <coughs> yeah. But still, it's pretty much the same problem uh, under different disguise, which is uh, somebody will have to say, we need to release it now. Yeah. <laughs> and that, soon. That, <laughs> yeah, soon. <laughs> Martin, Anything other questions? Yeah. Uh, suggestions? How is the simple fact uh, recognizing people as Committers versus people who supply patches and this and that. Well, it's going to affect it this way that uh, we will be able to see much more of a person's development skills, whatever you know. Because for each external developer, it's very easy to do a lot of work in their GitHub repository. That means we can have a lot to look at, not just a single bloody patch sitting in track. And you don't can only see the final patch, you see the mistakes in between. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, and so it should be easier to get a, a more um, well, informed idea about people. So I guess in the end it will probably mean that we will be more will get more conservative and get giving people commit rights into the, into the, to the central repository, but we will probably get more developers, so in the end we will, by the numbers, we will probably get more. That's, at least that's what we hope, mm -hmm. to reach with the, that kind of model, yes? I'm just interested how the, how the problem of, of the patch becoming absolute, because it's sitting on track, um, is different to a feature branch having been worked on for, for a duration of time <coughs> and then the work stops there because nobody pulls it into the main repository. <coughs> How is that work becoming less, has, has less of a chance of becoming obsolete than a patch sitting in class? That I think. That's because the, the patch in track is dead. I mean, it's an export. You have to come no, I mean, Whatever means you, you used to get it, you have an export. And either 
um, you are already using a local repository, and that patch is just what happens to be the, the diff at the time. And after waiting a day, you got fed up and you continue to work, and it doesn't really matter if it's a GitHub repository, a public one, or just a local one, you can continue to work on it. You have your commit, your changes, and your commit messages. So you know what's going on, you just keep on working. And then one month later, somebody says, it doesn't build it anymore. And then you can say, well, here's the next patch. And it's just like that. And you have it. Because you just do the patch from wherever you branched off, and you have the difference. And um, with the train racing, actually, there's a the technical solution to the patch you have not update. Well, you can just continue, yeah, you have a repository, so you can track, you have a, well, what, what do you do if you do, if you send a patch to track, what would I do? I mean, I just create a patch a file, put it somewhere into a patches directory, and it works there. I, do, I never look at it again, and, and the code, maybe the code, uh, there's no relation between the code that I used to get the patch from, and the patch file itself? Actually, that's not entirely true because the, if you do the uh, patches of S uh, SVN div, you can actually see from which oh, it yeah. was made. If you, that's right, but, yeah, but the now problem is I don't have that. Yeah, but what's, now, what's, new, what's new now is that the patch itself, or the, the, the yeah. I don't know how it's called, the Git's so patch in, in uh, materials called bundle, it knows to which point in the tree it needs to attach. So, especially, uh, so if you apply this, Patch in your local repository, you basically you get a side branch. Mm -hmm. Then you can say either rebase, so track from the top, or merge. But, but whereas with the SVN patch, it would just always try to go on top, and, and if it did it, boom. Mm -hmm. And the other side, of course, is that, which is just yeah. uh, referring that the rebasing mechanism, like if the patch has been rotting and all of a sudden, somebody, some internal developer says, yeah. so I'm interested, I'm, it does, just doesn't work, or please change this and we can apply it. Then it's really easy to use git rebase to get to the current state of the master, and then just hopefully the tool doesn't freak automatically. If not, uh, you, need to, you need to do a merge commit. And then yeah. Yeah. Unless you actually already merge, merge uh, the, the, the well, master. Don't do that. Well, yeah, but I mean, if you want to continue working... No, actually you can, but you just have to, the person has to... You have separate, separate repositories, so the topologies of each repository will eventually be different, with different merge points and things and... Oh, and, 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 uh, yeah. you mean you need to start uh, another branch from this one and, and merge them? Or I mean, that, that's the discussion about do I merge or do I rebase? And yeah. I think one important thing is keep it separate. You need you, know, you, you, you should use if you have a branch mm -hmm. like if I'm working new to it, I'm working on a small thing really, and I just put that that patch into track or do a pull request, and then I would use that I would only apply rebase into that branch because um, I don't I don't I can't even uh, merge into any master because I couldn't push. It doesn't make sense. I need somebody else to merge. If I merge that into Haiku's master that I have cloned, I basically well it doesn't really work. I mean I can't pull anything. Yeah. So don't do that. I mean it's well you you, you need to I mean, if you intend to kind of push your changes forward, you just, you're just following someone else, and you, you'd like to get something into there, you rebase. But if, of course, you're, you're a group of two or three developers who share code and can have from that their own branches and merge into there, that so somebody else can continue work there and you use merge. But it's just it's important to keep them separate. <coughs> Not mix. Oh, later. Can you just <coughs> add on that explanation? Because I think that would be very sure. You know, I can do that. Educational for mm -hmm. everyone else. Yeah, sure. That's about yeah. Raja, my sister, Dave. Everyone knows the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Raise your hands. <laughs> <laughs>
But if it's, it's, it can be put even simpler. We base what it says in the room, and as soon as it goes out of the room, it went out of the room, don't rebase it anymore. We're only merge. Right, yeah. Well, basically, uh, merge is uh, basically a uh, change here, a change here, and, and in merge is this. You do something in such, mm -hmm. and uh, rebase is basically you have this, and you do this, and, and this. Oh, you tear it apart and put it on top yeah. again. Basically. Yeah. Well, awesome. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. Now we're done. When do we switch? Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, what do we switch? It depends on the book. 11th of November. We, we keep, we keep re rebating the switch. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It really depends on these points here. <coughs> Which of oh, these yeah. do we want? Can we bear to postpone after the switch? Like, well, I mean, I don't think you know it would be a, 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 a little nuisance to not have the change sets, uh, the change sets in the track timeline. You know, mm -hmm. we take them out and put them back in a month or so. What's right. the harm? Because you, you know, you can look at the repository browser to see the, the change timeline in probably in a nicer way. That's right, and that is not a big problem. That should be easy. Yeah, yeah that's the it should be very easy. Yeah. So it's just to make this. This. That's not to be this way. Uh, Polistic, uh, Alexander Mongol. Uh, I actually started writing with one. Uh, if you go to the guides page, you know, you choose, you know, get in the source from SVN, you place SVN, you get, and it's. Page is published, it's just not uh, visible on like the guides on the right yet. I'm not sure how how accurate it is if, if you need to do more work, but it, just by glancing at it, it, it looks fairly informative. Okay, uh, so yeah, apart from that, I think we could switch next week. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. well not doing the code sprint, I think. <laughs> But after that, yeah. <laughs> I did before to meet all the, the pennies that I've got before this. <laughs> yeah. We can switch today. Yesterday. Is anybody intending to do any commits to <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.